Azure Hybrid Benefit as a way to save money on SQL Server. How do you do that? If you assign your existing license to an Azure instance, following all the rules of assignment, you'll be saving money, especially if that's a reserved instance. Microsoft deliberately did it that way. If you're migrating to Azure, it even makes sense to purchase subscription licenses in an enterprise agreement if those are perpetual instances, not something that you'll spin on, spin off. If something is more or less permanent, if that's a reserved instance, it makes much more sense to use your existing license, move it to Azure and assign it to that reserved instance. The same as could be up to 70%. That's, that's what Microsoft claimed. And that's actually true. In one of my exercises, which was a Microsoft Enterprise Agreement renewal exercise, we actually told the customer to keep some of the licenses and renew them specifically for that reason, that if those licenses would be then migrated to Azure and they had plans to migrate to Azure, they would be saving money on those. They had government level discounts. So that discounts you will never get in Azure, ever even if you're a government entity. Substantial saving, don't neglect it. Look at your hybrid benefits, ask an expert. It's a good way to optimize, minimize SQL Server costs. If you like what you've just seen, please send me a connection request on LinkedIn. The link is in the description. And please subscribe to this channel so you do not miss any of the future updates and any of the future live shows that I upload here, at least weekly. Thank you and safe with knowledge of Microsoft licensing.